Perth Wellington. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier and Minister of Agriculture and Food. The 2012 Liberal budget, aided and abetted by the NDP, kicked the legs out of the, from under the horse racing industry. They did so with no consultation and no concern for the thousands of jobs that would be lost, mainly in rural Ontario. But the government did create three new part-time jobs for former cabinet ministers, and it also created work for consulting and communication firms. My question to the Premier, can she tell us what her government's horse racing industry transition panel has cost taxpayers so far? So, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you for the question. And uh, I know that the, uh, the member opposite, because he represents a riding that is quite rural, and I know that he understands the importance of having a sustainable horse racing industry. I also know, Mr. Speaker, that he understands how much people like John Snowblin know about the horse racing industry, Mr. Speaker, and Elmer Buchanan and John Wilkinson. He knows how important it is that we have people with expertise giving us advice. Order. Attorney General. <laughs> Just when I'm going to nail them, you do something. <laughs> but I'm not going to nail them, but consider yourself nailed. Premier. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I, I know that I know that the uh, I know that the member opposite wants the horse racing industry to be sustainable. I've written a letter to the panel and I've asked for a five-year plan, Mr. Speaker. They, they are working on that five-year plan, working on the recommendations, Mr. Speaker, Answer. and I look forward to acting on those recommendations. Thank you. Complimentary. Thank you, Speaker. I think Randy knows. Premier, it took a Freedom of Information request to learn the truth. Uh -oh. The panel billed taxpayers for compensation, expenses, and outside consultants. The grand total so far is $526,649. The Premier's new instructions to the panel will push the bill even higher. Panelists are billing taxpayers $750 a day for attending meetings and often for just making conference calls. Even a laundry bill was approved. We need to know how this Premier justifies putting thousands out of work and then spending over a half a million dollars cleaning up the government's mess. Does the Premier really think that this is the way to support the horse racing industry and win back rural Ontario? Answer. If so, Speaker, the Premier, the Premier is sadly mistaken. Thank you, Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Yes, we are paying John Snowblin and Elmer Buchanan and John Wilkinson to do this work. And yes, they have billed expenses. There was an, there was an administrative error. I'd like, I'd like you to hear this. There was an administrative error made in terms of the billing of a, a, a dry cleaning bill that has been... I'd like to hear it. That's not helpful. Finish, please. There was an error made. There was a bill approved that shouldn't have been... The member from Lambton come to order. Right as soon as I sit down, it doesn't start back up again. The intent is to get it quiet. That, that bill that was approved in error has been paid back, Mr. Speaker. All of the expenses now fall into line with the guidelines of the OPS. The point is, though, Mr. Speaker, I thought that the party opposite wanted to see the horse racing industry on a solid footing, Mr. Yes, Speaker. I thought that the party opposite wanted to see race states and wanted to see breeders in good shape. That's what we want on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker. No question. The member from Toronto, Stanford. Thank you, Speaker. My question